Welcome back to Wake Up Charlotte weekend. 34 years ago on September 22nd, Hurricane Hugo made landfall near Sullivan's Island, South Carolina. That's just north of Charleston. The Category 4 storm was one of the strongest and costliest hurricanes ever for the U.S. Hugo was responsible for over 100 deaths and billions of dollars in damage. It was the first billion dollar storm right here in North Carolina. And if you lived in the Charlotte area in September of 1989, chances are you have a Hugo story. Larry Sprinkle and I took a drive to the former WCNC Charlotte building to look back at just how devastating the storm was. This is the, the old studio here off of Hood Road and the weather center at the time was kind of right in here. You can see all the gear for the lawnmowers right here. But I was on the air in this area and I was looking at the camera and the camera was basically locked down just like this and I could hear something coming from up there and I looked over and looked up out of the corner of my eye, saw it, and part of the ceiling has just caved in near me. So I would think that it would be almost a little bit sad to come back here after this long, you know, yeah. and kind of see the building the way it looks now, <laughs> especially because we do have, I mean, honestly, truthfully, such a gorgeous and really nice facility, you know, yeah. about Billy Graham, but yeah. this is where you started. Yeah, I this, mean, this, this was it. This, this was built in 1967, and there's a big tower. That's a 1,200-foot tower. If you can imagine at the top of that, a transmission line snapping coming down and hitting the building. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of nostalgia here, a lot of history in this place right here. We had no idea what was going to hit us right here because about, like you say, 4.30 to 5 o'clock in the morning, hurricane force winds right into Charlotte, damage everywhere, and literally tens of thousands of trees were knocked down. And, you know, we still have trees around here, but there are a number of trees right here on our the old studio lot that just came down. I remember walking out of the station, out of the door over here, and standing here, and you could hear... Pow, pow, power stations going, you know, popping. And you could look off in the distance and see all the power going out. And literally, for weeks, people didn't have power right here in the Charlotte area. That was going to be my question. Was So I looked at, you know, official data. Yeah. That's what we have. We who aren't as cool, you know, yeah. who weren't here in 1989, um, who were in Charlotte even, and it said 85% of the city lost power. I mean, yeah. I yeah. can't even imagine current Charlotte, even just the metro in general. Yeah. 85% of people lose I mean, their that's, power. I mean, you think that was everybody. And, and obviously hospitals, uh, medical facilities, mm -hmm. uh, fire stations had to keep their power. But uh, there were people literally without power for three weeks. We didn't have it for a couple of weeks. It was strange. It was like, and when you drove around the city of Charlotte, there were trees down and power lines. You could, there were people trapped in neighborhoods for days that couldn't get out. And I remember that uh, back at that time, because people didn't have power, neighborhoods would come out and because you had no power, everything in the refrigerator would go bad. So people were like having barbecues out in the neighborhood, cooking, you know, what they had in the refrigerator. And it was, it brought people together. Mm -hmm. It was a time of, well, you'd never experienced anything like this. So it was, there was a camaraderie that we had just because we were all experiencing this uh, catastrophe right here in Charlotte. This has never happened before. How are we supposed to prepare for it? Yeah, I mean, there was no preparedness for a, a hurricane in Charlotte. It was just unheard of. I mean, that that's a once in a lifetime, hopefully, event that happens. And it it, it did, you know, make us made us all cognizant of the fact that you know there are things like severe weather, severe storms. Be prepared. Let people know what to do. Not that we hadn't said something about that, but you know, 34 years ago was a whole different situation in the way that we dispense information to the public. And just know to always think ahead. You know, if you have a vision about things and know that here's what I should do if this does happen, then you're not going to panic. Honestly, it was really cool to be out there with Larry. Uh -huh. I know, like, the word cool just seems kind of weird, but. Like, cool, cool, yeah, cool, cool. But, you know, one of the reasons why we moved into our current building was because of Hugo, which I guess I never realized. And it had been about, he said, almost 34 years since he had been there. Maybe worked out a little bit after the storm, but after they moved in here, it was not at all. So it was cool to go back there with sweet Larry, who, you know, I love so much, and just, like, watch him reminisce. But a very intense storm. Yeah, absolutely.